Hi, I'm Alistair Davidson, a Master Trainer for DaVinci Resolve, and today we're going to have a quick look at using a video I.O. device with DaVinci Resolve. A video I.O. device, like a DeckLink or Ultra Studio device, are used to input and output video signals from your computer. These are important if we're colour grading and we want the most accurate signal possible from our computer. So here are the steps to set one up and start using one within Resolve. The first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to make sure we have the latest driver downloaded from the Blackmagic website. So I've come to the support page and I've selected Capture and Playback as the product family. The driver that all of Blackmagic's Capture and Playback devices use is the desktop video driver. And from here you can download it from Mac OS X, Windows or Linux. Once you have this installed, you'll want to check that the card is recognised and that the firmware is up to date. And we do that using the desktop video setup application. In here you can see I have a DeckLink Mini Monitor 4K and it's already outputting a signal from Resolve. Once your card's firmware is up to date and it's recognised fully by the desktop video setup application, you'll want to come into DaVinci Resolve. And in here, we're going to go to the preferences, so you can either click on DaVinci Resolve in the top left and then go to preferences, or you can use Control or Command comma if you're on a Mac. So Control comma for Windows and Command comma for a Mac. Once you have this open, this is the preferences, you want to make sure that you have system selected along the top. And then along the left hand side, we're going to come down to video and audio IO. If I click on that, you'll see that we have for playback use and for capture use. Now I'm using a DeckLink mini monitor, which doesn't have any inputs, so I can't capture into Resolve, but I can use it to output to my color grading monitor. So all I need to do is make sure that it's selected in here for playback and then hit save. Once I restart Resolve, that card will be active and I'll be able to play back whatever is in my timeline on my external monitor. Ooh, there's this explosion and it surrounded the whole ship just two hours ago. I hope this has been helpful. Let us know if there's anything else you want to know about DaVinci Resolve by contacting the ScanPro video team.